Thanks so much for joining us. I have to say, I binge the show. I love the show. <laughs> I know. And um, I, man, I feel for Tangie right now. And I have to say, because it was one of those things, I'm like, everyone is betraying her from her yeah. mom to her boyfriend. What's that like playing with all that betrayal going on or swirling around you? It's a whirlwind. If for an actor, it's my dream. It's my dream because she has all this juicy material she gets to work with. Um, but getting into that space as the character and having to like imagine these things happening to me or pull from my experiences, it definitely is, um, yeah, it gets, it takes a toll on you. Not so much because you know, she, she's, she's feisty. She's not like, she's not a victim. So I think it's fun to play that side of it. You know? Yeah. She's got a wonderful strength to her. That's yeah. like, you, you see it and you see it come through when she's standing up to her mom or she's like telling her boyfriend, like not, not dealing with that. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Um, but that's it's it's a lot to sort of like dig up as an actor to, to play on set. It is a lot to do, but that's the fun part. That's the f I, I love being challenged, and I love like you know I love um, the biggest challenge for Tanji was how do I how do I show her struggle without just showing it without all that making that all that it is having layers right. to it, showing her strength and showing different layers of who she is. Um, because I think as an actor, we tend to want to go straight into the emotion or like, yeah, I'm so upset. I'm so sad. <laughs> yeah. But life isn't like that though life either. Isn't like no. That. <laughs> Never. Most of the times the things we see on paper, um, could be sadder than what it is in real life. Because when it's your life, for some reason, we talk about it with ease. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But when you're hearing about someone else's life, you're like, oh, well, that would make me really sad. So this should probably be an emotional scene. But sometimes not really. No, and it takes realization of like, oh my gosh, my boyfriend betrayed me by doing this. And I don't want to give away too much. If you haven't, people haven't seen it. But it is one of those things. Like, it's a realization it's yeah, revelation definitely yeah so you're not going to automatically just go, go straight to anger it. or go straight to sadness definitely there, we're human and there's layers to every emotion that we feel you know what i mean so i try to show that a little bit now you have a great audition story for uh this show and i, I kind of love sort of how this all came together can you share a little bit about that hmm well i don't know what you're talking about my audition story yeah famous in love basically i just i got the, i got the audition notice yep. and um She's not, she's not in the pilot at all. But when I did audition, she was, but in a little bit. So I didn't know much about this character. She mm -hmm. was like a blank canvas. So I sort of, I fell in love with her immediately. First of all, I fell in love with the project. And then I fell in love with Tangi, and it was like, I have to fight for this girl. I have to, like, I have to make her voice heard. I want to be the one to do that. Um, so because she wasn't really anything on, on script, I just had to create her kind of. <laughs> so I walk into this audition, and Marlene was there. <laughs> yeah, Marlene was at my first audition ever. So I walk in, like, with this powerhouse sitting here, the casting director. And um, I'm in this huge fur coat, and my hair is really big and curly, and like makeup is on point, it's all fleeky. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, oh, I hope this works. Yeah, and I went in, I did it, and I didn't hear back for a while. And I'm, I'm not kidding, I wanted this role so bad. I thought about her, I talked about her, I put it into the universe, and um, when I when I was finally like, you know what, whatever, whatever, that's good. Because all of them had gotten their roles before me. So oh. I was thinking, I saw that they had booked it, and I'm like, oh, I guess they've already cast it, whatever. And then they called me, and they were like, we want you to be Tangie. <laughs> and I was like, ah. What is that moment like? I mean, because when you really want something, and you guys work so hard in Hollywood to get to this point. Yeah. I don't yeah. think people realize like what the struggle is on a day-to-day -day basis sometimes. It's a struggle. Honestly, anyone that you see on camera or on anything in this industry, um, you have to have respect, whether you like them or yeah. you think, because there is so, it's, it, it takes a certain strength to really achieve your goals in this industry. Honestly, it does. So that moment, I, I'm getting chills even now thinking about it. I was in my car on my way to an audition, uh, to a rehearsal for a play, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> I just, I screamed! I screamed <laughs> so loud, and I started to cry, and yeah, it was it was amazing, honestly. There's nothing like achieving your goals that moment, you know? Who's the first person you called or texted? Called my mom! Of course! Oh, <laughs> I called my mom! I called my mom, we were freaking out! Ah, oh, my gosh, talking about it right now gives me chills, but yeah, she was so excited, and she knew how much I wanted it, so. Is she the person that keeps you grounded in this crazy town? Definitely. Definitely she does. My, my whole family does. I mean, you know, it's... 
I never saw any of this coming, honestly. And I think that's what makes it so, that's what keeps me grounded. Every day I look around and I'm like, what is this? What's <laughs> happening? That keeps me grounded to the max. And the fans as well, they're so kind and so supportive. And um, I'm just happy to be living my dream. That's how I stay grounded. That's awesome. Yeah. It's such, so great. <laughs> Season two, we have to discuss. We're going to make it happen. We're just going to talk about it. Put out the universe. Um, what do you hope for Tangie for season two? I want to see Tangie get get what she wants. I want to see Tangie live her, be happy for a little bit. Be happy for a little bit. Because I, I want to see what she does, how she handles power, mm -hmm. and how she handles um, being in control of her own life, you know? Um, yeah, I feel like the first season was a transitional transition period for Tangie and she's growing and we're seeing her achieve all these things but second season definitely should be like she's arrived <laughs> she's arrived yeah you're ready for that I'm ready for it and what about for you what are your big dreams and goals beyond famous in love in this entire industry um I would love to do movies obviously for now famous in love is so exciting and I'm basking in all of this but definitely I would love to do movies I would love to do movies that that touch people, not necessarily big studio movies. I don't care about that. I just, uh, I just want to do movies that mean something, um, and really have a medium where I can showcase my own talent. And maybe eventually, it's not something that's on my mind right now. Be yeah, but maybe I might make my own movies and you know discover new talent. I would love to make other, you know, do something for other people in that creative sense. And become a mentor. I mean, become that's a mentor. so great. I think that could be really cool. Um, you know, while I'm doing all this, I would really love to talk to, go to schools, go to high schools, middle schools, colleges, really just engage in people. That's really my passion is mm -hmm. people. So, um, yeah, that's what I want to do. That's great. Well, when you have the platform, too, it's great to pay it forward. Exactly. And Freeform is so, they're so wonderful with letting us, you know, be ourselves and really follow what we want to do in our hearts. So. I'm very happy to have this exact platform. Oh, we're so glad to have you here. Thank you so much for sharing your Thank story. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.